Hi there and welcome to Code Framer. So I am starting a new tutorial in this channel where we will be understanding about all the design patterns in Python. So design patterns are extremely important concepts which every developer must understand. So in this tutorial we will discuss all the design patterns along with examples so that we get complete understanding of the fundamentals. So having said that, the first question is what is a design pattern? So design patterns are basically common architectural approaches that developers have observed while designing and developing object oriented softwares during the course of time. So as I said that these are common architectural approaches, which means that while developing object oriented software, they have been able to find certain common patterns in their development cycle, which can be used by other developers to follow and create optimized object oriented software, but if used properly or if used appropriately. So in order to explain all these design patterns, I have used the most popular book that is available in learning design patterns, which is design patterns, elements of reusable object oriented software. And it was written by these four authors, which are given here. And I must say that they are the ones who created this revolution devoted to design pattern in the year 1994. And it was so effective that even today we do not see any changes or updates in these patterns. And we are pretty much using the same design approach to design any object oriented software even today. One thing that is to be noted here is that the original design pattern approach was written using the language C and C++ because at that period of time they were the most used languages. So you could imagine that during the 90s C and C++ was extremely popular. So all the design patterns were written using these languages C and C++. But with time all the design pattern approach were translated to other programming languages like C sharp, Java, Python and even JavaScript. Because initially in JavaScript, the object oriented concepts were not there, but later they have included object oriented programming as well. So design patterns are also translated into JavaScript programming language. So which means that the developers who are using JavaScript extensively can also learn design pattern and also they can use this approach to design any object oriented software. So one thing that you must be absolutely certain about the design patterns is that they are universally relevant, which means that Design patterns does not depend upon any specific language or we can say that the fundamental concepts do not change for different programming languages and universally relevant also means that they are as relevant today as they were back in 90s when they were basically created. So rest assured that it will be relevant for many more decades to come as object oriented programming is going nowhere and the software market is still flooded with applications or softwares developed using object oriented programming. So design patterns are definitely going to stick with us for many more decades to come. And you will also be excited to know that some of the programming languages have even internalized design patterns. To give one example, in Python, we have a concept called decorators. So decorators are nothing but a design pattern. And we also have different libraries readily available, which provides different patterns to us, which means that we can simply pull those libraries into our project and directly use those design patterns based on our requirements. And one last point that I would like to mention here is that if you have been coding before, then be assured that you must have already used many of the design patterns yourself once in a while, but definitely without really noticing it. So during this course, you will have a lot of moments like, ah, I know that. Oh, this one I have used before. So you will have a lot of those moments. But after knowing and understanding all the design patterns in this course, in future, you will be more aware of the design and the approach that you are following while developing a software or solving a problem. So basically, in future, you will be more aware of the kind of design that you are implementing in order to solve any problem. Okay, so having said that, now let us have a quick look at the structure of this course. So before understanding all the design patterns, we will first understand about the solid design principles. So after we have completed the design principles, we will move towards understanding all the design patterns themselves. So in design patterns, we will understand about the creational pattern first, where first we will understand about the builder, then the factory patterns, where we will understand about abstract factory and factory method. Then we will understand about the prototype and finally singletons. And after the creational pattern, we will move towards the structural patterns where we will understand about the adapters, bridge, composites, decorators, facade, flyweight and proxy. And after these topics, we will move towards behavioral patterns where we will understand about chain of responsibility, command, interpreter, iterators, mediators, memento, ob observer, state, strategy, template method and finally visitor. So all these topics will be covered in this tutorial. So while understanding these topics, we will directly code the examples in order to understand all the topics. So be ready with your Python editor to code along with me for better practice. 
as I'll be implementing all the patterns along the way. So while explaining a design pattern, we will parallelly code in our editor to basically get a complete understanding of the concept. And we will have very less theory in this particular course and we will have more practical examples to understand all the design patterns. And the code that I'll be writing to explain the design patterns can be found in my GitHub account. So you can either pull the code from my GitHub or you can simply download it for your reference. And at the end of each section of this course, in order to test our understanding of the concept, I will give a coding exercise using which you can practice and also see if you have been able to grasp all the concepts thoroughly or not. So there will be challenging problems. So now I hope that you understand what you can expect out of this course. So having understood that, let us understand about the prerequisites that will be required for this course. So the first and the foremost requirement will be that you will need Python in your system. And the latest version of the Python will be really helpful. So if you do not have Python installed in your system, then I have created a video regarding it. And you can find the link of that video in the description. So please download and install Python in your system first and then resume this course. Along with Python in your system, you will also need an IDE. So I will be using PyCharm throughout this course. But feel free to use any of your favorite IDE like Atom, VS Code, Sublime Text or even Jupyter Notebook should be fine. So these were the system requirements for this course. But now let us have a look at the prerequisites that you will need in terms of understanding or knowledge that you will be needing in order to understand all the concepts in this course. So first of all, you will need at least the basic understanding of object oriented programming. Because while coding the design patterns, we will not discuss about the fundamentals of object oriented programming because that's a separate topic in itself. We will completely focus on implementing and understanding the design pattern alone. So I would recommend you to undergo a Python course before starting this particular course as you will be needing a good understanding of the Python programming language to grasp all the concepts comfortably. Having said that, if you're ready with the prerequisites, then we can start this course. So in the next video, we will start understanding about the single responsibility principle, which is also known as separation of concern. So I hope that you are excited about this course. So in order for you to not miss any of the upcoming videos, related to design patterns, do hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button so that it helps the YouTube algorithm to send this video to other code lovers who want to learn design patterns. So looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you and see you next time.